Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be my June favorites video. Had to think about that, but definitely June favorites. And honestly, I know people say this all the time, but this month like actually flew by. Like I had in my mind, I had a plan of all the videos I was gonna upload and film. And then I looked at the date and I was like, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Am I just not going to do a favorites video? So I'm just going to get started. I always go in the order that I apply products to my face. So like primer, foundation, yada, yada, blah. So I am going to mention a primer. Probably should have grabbed it beforehand. So the primer that I want to talk about is the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. This is what it looks like right here. I picked this up specifically for my Urban Decay One Brand tutorial, which I'll link down below in case you guys haven't seen that. This kind of reminds me of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More, which I think I did say in that video. But what I like better about this one is it doesn't feel as like slippery as the Dr. Brandt, if that makes sense. I feel like the Dr. Brandt almost has like some silicone in it. It's just it just feels a little slippery on the skin and I don't feel like this one is as slippery. I feel like this one's a little bit more thick. It actually goes in and it really blurs my pores and I really like the effect that this has on my skin. So I have been really loving it this month ever since I used it in that video. I have not been able to put it down except for today obviously because like... And there it goes. I do have two foundations that I want to talk about, both of which I did upload a first impressions for. So both of those first impressions are going to be linked down below. But the first one that I want to talk about is the Natasha Denona Foundation X. Mine is in the color 75 Dark. I feel kind of weird about loving this foundation because it's supposed to be a dewy finish foundation. And I don't get that at all. I pretty much switch up my primer every single time that I use this foundation and never have I ever gotten any type of dewy finish at all. But I'm glad that it's not dewy because this is one of the longest lasting foundations that I've ever tried in my life. I wore this for I think 10 hours in my first impressions and it honestly, my makeup looked incredible. I went and I went to Florida while I was wearing it. So I was on the plane, I got off the plane, and then the humidity just like slapped me in the face. And still, my makeup looked amazing at the end of the night. Like I almost didn't want to take it off after 10 hours. So I've been loving this. I've been wearing this a lot when I need to wear my makeup for a long time or if I'm going somewhere and I need to like, I need to look good because the coverage on this is, I would definitely say medium to full. It is a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. So I definitely recommend you guys try this out if you're thinking about trying it out. I definitely don't think the shade, I think I said definitely like 65 times in that sentence. I definitely, I said it again. I think that the shade range could definitely be worth, oh my God. I think that the shade range could use some work. I didn't say it there. But I definitely... Oh! <laughs> That's it. I give up. I like the foundation. You guys should try it. The next foundation I want to talk about is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. Mine is in the color 10 Deep Honey. And I... This is what it looks like on the inside in case anybody was curious. I am actually wearing the foundation right now. I love this foundation for pretty much the exact opposite reason that I like the Natasha Denona one. I feel like the finish of this one is a little bit more satin. This one kind of wears down a little bit quicker on my skin. But if I need my face to look good for a few hours as opposed to look good for like the entire day, I would definitely reach for this because I feel like it looks so healthy and nice on the skin. It doesn't look too mattifying, doesn't make you look dead. And I know today I look pretty dead because I'm wearing like all cool tones. But not the foundation's fault. I think if you have dry skin, you would probably like this because it kind of wears a little bit more dewy-ish on the skin. So I have been loving this. Like I said, full first impressions will be linked down below. I do have two separate contour products that I want to talk about, which is crazy because I feel like I haven't mentioned a contour product in a long time. So the first one is by Urban Decay and this is the Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. Mine is in the color Medium Dark Shift. Funny story, I actually bought this originally in the light medium shift because I feel like this contour color, the cream contour color in here is ridiculously dark. Like this is really, really dark. I'm not sure if it's coming off on camera, but in person, it is super duper dark. I came home and I just sat here and I was like, no, no, there is absolutely no way. So then I just got up, went right back to Macy's and exchanged it immediately without taking it out of the box, without anything. So... I mean, call me crazy, 
but I am. I love the colors in this palette. I will say I have used this cream contour shade a few times. Not as much as I use the Potter products, of course, because I don't really cream contour on like an everyday basis. This color is really dark when you apply it, but it blends out so easily. So if you're intimidated by this color, don't be. And especially when you use the powder products along with it, it's they, it comes out nice. This is my favorite color, of course. I use this to contour my face today, actually, and I feel like it goes so well with my skin tone. The powder products right here, like this highlight color, I loved it. I used it instead of like my translucent powder that I usually go in with, and I love the way that it set my concealer and all of my highlighted areas, and so I'm really happy with this. I have not used this highlighter, actually, if I may. Oh my god, that's so nice. The only complaint that I have is that this side, the powder side, doesn't come with like a more cool tone contour powder because, I mean, this one is pretty warm. I'm not sure if it's coming off on camera. And then this one is super dark. So I wish there was one that was more like this shade, just more cool tone so that I could use it to contour my nose. The next product that I want to talk about, another contour product like I said, these are the Makeup Geek Contour Powders. This is all eight of the shades that are in the range. I picked these up during a like ridiculous sale they were so inexpensive I think it was like $45 for all eight shades and I was like well I don't need all eight shades but $45 I'm gonna get all eight shades the two colors that I mainly use in this palette are these two right here and they're medium warm and medium cool I have the cool I always forget I have the cool tones on top and the warm tones on the bottom so the two that i use mostly are this one which is half hearted which like i said is warm medium and then cool medium which is complicated i use complicated to contour my nose with and i'll use this one half hearted to contour my cheekbones with and i just love both of them i love the formula of these powders in general i do think this is a very very pigmented and buttery formula so i think even though they are more on the pigmented side if you went in and kind of like overdid it you could blend it out easily but i've definitely been using these all month long so i feel like i had to give them a little shout out a bronzer that i have not stopped using since i used it and you guys actually saw me use it in a couple of videos but the first time i used it on camera was in my drugstore makeup tutorial which i'll link down below this is the NYX matte bronzer in the color deep tan I love this color I don't know what it is I'm sure I have other bronzers that are the exact same color but I just I find myself gravitating towards this bronzer every single day and it's so weird because I've had it for so long and it just never crossed my mind to pick it up but I love it like like, I love it. It's very warm, which I feel like works best on my skin tone. I think if I go in with something that's not warm as a bronzer, it just does not look right. It just doesn't. It needs to be a warm bronzer. For contour, I can pretty much get away with something warm or neutral. But for bronzer, like, like you gotta be warm. So I think this color, if you're my skin tone, is amazing. I actually did use it to bronze today. Oh my god, I used some of the products today. Oh my god. I do have two highlighters that I want to talk about. One that I am wearing today. Maybe I should talk about that one first. So the one that I'm wearing today, on my cheekbones rather, is actually by Jouer. And this is my first time, or I guess my first highlighter that I've tried from Jouer. This is the color Skinny Dip. It's from their skinny dip collection if you could not guess i just swatched it right here so that's skinny dip right there it's not really so gold i feel like there's a little bit of peach in there call me crazy but i feel like there's some peach in there i just feel like it goes so well with everything especially on my skin i feel like it looks so natural it doesn't look like too intense like some like white or lighter highlighters can look it just looks really really good and i i love it i just i love it like I love it. I did also get the color Citrine or cit Citrine. That sounds right. I also did pick up that color but I've been so into this color and the next highlight I'm going to show you that I haven't even tried it. I have no idea what it even looks like on my skin tone. You know what? Let me just show it to you. So you can see I haven't even swatched this one. This one is Citrine and then this one is Skinny Dip. So Skinny Dip is definitely darker. Yeah, Citrine is definitely like more yellow and bright. This one has like a little bit more of like a rose gold peach hint in there which I definitely appreciate so I mean I can't wait to wear the other one but I really do like this color as well and the so. next highlighter that I want to talk about is I think my favorite over that highlighter and it's funny because it's from the drugstore and I actually have seen so many people talk about this in their favorites this is the Maybelline Master Chrome metallic highlighter in the color 100 molten gold 
This is what it looks like right here. You guys also saw me use this in my drugstore makeup tutorial. And I don't even have words for this highlighter. You can see how intense it is. This is the third one in right here. This is one of the most metallic highlighters that I own, which is like, that's exactly what I'm looking for in a highlighter. Like, how did you know? That I've used this all month long and I just love it. It is very soft to the touch. Like, it feels like if you just breathe on it a little bit too hard, like, it's just gonna shatter into a billion pieces. I've seen a lot of people receive theirs shattered, so I would say if you can find it in store, maybe try doing that. I ordered mine from Ulta.com and it came perfectly intact, perfectly fine. But if, you know, if you're a little nervous, I, I would, I understand. I would just go pick it up in store. So moving on to eyes, I do have an eyeshadow palette that I want to talk about and I think I got this like in the middle of the month, so like don't be mad at me. But I really, really do enjoy this palette. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I did do an entire tutorial with this palette. I'll link it down below. But this is what it looks like on the inside. And I love this palette. The only thing that kind of gets on my nerves a little bit is the darker shades. Like, especially the color Ashes. I used that all over my lid in my tutorial. And I feel like it really wasn't showing up as much as I hoped that it would. But all the other shades, these warm tones over here, they are so they are so good. I think I said this in my video, but I usually don't enjoy the Naked palettes at all. Like, I don't feel like any of them really do anything for me. They're made for people who want to just, like, throw on some eyeshadows, everyday look, whatever, and get out the door. This... To me, is that. Next things I want to talk about for eyes are the Stila. Hold on. The names are not on this. Are you kidding? Are you lying? Uh, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I have several shades, but these are the ones that I'm going to talk about today, I guess. I do want to talk about this shade first. This is the shade next to Not. Not. Note. I don't know. I'm going to write the word here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is a newer shade that they came out with. It's kind of like a cranberry with some glitter, and I wore this yesterday, which was the 4th of July. I love these so much. They're so intense and glittery and foiled, and they really make your lid pop. I use the color Kitten Karma, I think, like three times since I've purchased it. I think Kitten Karma is like the perfect everyday shade. I think I actually use it in my... Urban Decay tutorial as well on the inner corner. I also used the color Diamond Dust in one of my recent tutorials as well. That's also going to be linked down below. The next color is Molten Midnight. I've actually not used this one yet. But I want to so bad. I just, I just, I don't, this is like my kind of color. This one is like a black with so much silver sparkles to it. <laughs> Please hold. So these are the shades right here. This one's next to Not Not. I don't know how to say that. This one's Kit and Karma. This one's Diamond Dust. And then that's Molten Midnight. Like, tell me you don't need me to do a smoky eye with Molten Midnight. Tell me if you guys want a tutorial, actually. If you want a tutorial using that all over my lid and a smoky eye, just tell me. You know, all you gotta do is tell me. I'm, I'm all about tutorials as of recently. It's like all I want to do. So, if you want that, just, just, just let bitch know. I think that's actually all that I have to talk about. <laughs> So I do want to talk about one not so favorite of the month and it's kind of weird because I bought this maybe like two or three months ago and I've been using it every single day since then. This is a skincare product and for skincare you kind of have to test things a little bit more, a little bit longer before you know like okay, you definitely, you're definitely not what's up. So I want to talk about this cleanser. This is the Clinique City Block Purifying Charcoal Cleansing Gel. This is what it looks like right here. It looks like I haven't even used it, but I've been using it every single day and I've been using kind of a lot just in an effort to use it up because I'm so tired of using this every day, but I refuse. I refuse to buy another cleanser until I use this one up. The cleanser that I love is actually from the drugstore. It's the Clean and Clear. Oh my God, what's it called? It's like an exfoliating cleanser. I love that cleanser. I think it works so well on my skin. I just wanted to try something new. You know, you know what it's like when you want to try something new. And I was like, oh, this sounds like so cool. And I, I do not like this cleanser at all. Like at all. Like at all. I pictured it to come out kind of like the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator by MAC. Like that kind of charcoal-y kind of a situation. And I was like, oh, that's going to exfoliate so well. I'm so happy because exfoliation is like... It's like the reason that I live. It's like all I want to do. But this does not exfoliate at all. It comes out completely just like bleh. And it's just, 
it's so gentle. I guess if you have really sensitive skin, you might like this, but it's just so gentle that I find that it does nothing for my skin, like, whatsoever. So, that's actually all that I have to talk about for my favorites, and I guess one not-so-favorite this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your favorites in the comments below. You guys know I love to read your favorites. I love to read your suggestions. Anytime you guys are, like, telling me that you've been loving something, I'm like, okay, great. So now I have to go pick it up. I'm actually about to go out with both my brothers and Austin's girlfriend and my husband, of course. We're going to go watch Baby Driver and I'm so excited to watch that movie. Tell me if you guys have seen the movie, what you think about it because I'm literally, I'm leaving like, I'm leaving like right now. Don't forget to check the description box for links to some of my previous videos. I know I said I was going to link like 87 videos down there. I usually am pretty good about it. So I would definitely check. And then if I don't do it, then you tell me. And then I'll do it. And I think that's all I have to say. I feel like it's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi friends. Welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video. And this is going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. And I'm so excited to find.